Receive research and consultations with far bearers and stakeholders in the oil industry by Atamil's administration swiftly but painstakingly led to the development of a master preempted plan. This led to the birth of the Eco Brigade in September 2009. The Eco Brigade was formally inaugurated and expressly charged with the mandate of restoring, replenishing, and maintenance of the sanity and serenity of Ghana's coastline. We started from the Western region to be precise. Western region because from statistics, from our research, uh, Western region fortunately or unfortunately uh, has been bombarded with some of these problems that the, the project uh, has identified. Um, talking for example about the destruction of this coastline, um, the destruction of the coconut plantations by the uh, Kips and Paul uh, wolf disease, uh, the influx or invasion of the, uh, the waters around uh, these areas by algae, uh, industrial waste uh, that is invading the area and is destroying the fishing. A three-pronged approach was to be used to categorize the workforce of the Echo Brigade and the youth of the country on whose prowess the NDC administration under the leadership of John Atamils dot on. The youth were to be the focus on the agenda to replenish, transform and protect our marine waters and coastline for a better Ghana. Their skill, their energies and their commitment to nation building were to be harnessed in this noble effort to protect our marine waters and coasts from any potential ecological disaster. One prong of the three exists to come and rid out beaches of unspeakable filth that piles up on beaches by the day. Additionally, this group is charged to maintain our shorelines by planting coconut trees and mangroves along the length and breadth of the coastline. Another prong is a beach patrol team. Then comes the prong that has been charged with safety on the Volta Lake and which has come to be termed the Volta Lake Transport Enhancement Program. Experts have been brought in to train and properly equip the members of the Echo Brigade and to transport technology to the men and women of the brigade. With the training of trainers accomplished, all is set to rub in more Ghanaians into the brigade, thus creating employment for over 10,000 Ghanaian youth. With the depth of thinking that has gone into the formation of the Eco Brigade, it has quickly become a growing monolith with tax, ideas, and mandates that put their presence at the service of a range of ministries and the country at large. The Ministry of Tourism is one such ministry to benefit immensely from the work of Eco Brigade. With the ongoing work of the Beach Patrol of the Brigade and the extended cleaning and tree planting engagement, boosting tourism along our beaches is set to be a whole lot easier and attractive. As a Deputy Minister of Tourism, this dovetails into our plans for our beaches. People visit our country for a lot of reasons. One of the cardinal reasons is the fact that we have abundant sunshine and therefore they come here to bask in our sunshine. The other reason is that they also want to enjoy our natural attributes and the beaches are some of those natural attributes. And therefore with the launch of this Echo Brigade project, we are basically saying that Ghana as a country is ready and prepared to keep our beaches clean and that now we are open for business. Cape Coast is the hub of tourism when we come to, I must say, the whole Ghana. So they are determined to keep the environment clean and that is the spirit that keeps them working all along. The works of the Echo Brigade again 
cannot be amazed to the Ministry of Science, Technology and Environment if the sanity of the environment we thrive in is anything to go by. The Ministry of Environment thus gives its full support to the works of the Echo Brigade. There are a lot of foreign materials in the sea, even as they continue to clean the tide washes ashore a lot of these impurities. What this clearly tells us is that we have to look comprehensively at the issue of the use of plastic materials in the country. They are also supposed to be trained in the mending of the nets that are used for fishing. Say that as the plastics and the foreign bodies get entangled in the nets and destroy them, they will be able to mend these things. They are also going to have some training in terms of the repair of canoe. The Ministry of Youth and Sport also find relevance in the work of the brigade in that those employed to work and push the mandate of the Echo Brigade are largely the youth of Ghana. The Ministry of Employment and Social Welfare definitely underscores the relevance of Echo Brigade in that the force becomes a major conduit of security job placement for the teaming youth of Ghana. And through this program, we've employed about 10,000 people who are working along our coast belt and then along the banks of the inland water bodies, daily cleaning, removing rubbish from the beaches, and then planting of coconuts. Now the beaches are very clean. When you walk, there are places that used to have uh, heaps of refuse, some places you couldn't step. It is our aim that within the next two years, the beaches will be free, safe, where we will have the pleasure of walking and enjoying the breeze from the sea. Because the toilet Surely, this is another bold public-private partnership by this administration to put the nation's manpower resources to good and relevant use whilst creating the much-needed employment for thousands of teaming youth and enhance their livelihoods and that of their families. As a youth at the coastal areas, we need employment. And this work has really helped some of the youth. And we are pleading with the government that if there's so, supposed to be another recruitment for next year, it should be able to increase the number. And now there are a lot of people dying in our coastal areas and our river areas. So we are pleading with the government to come into our aid and provide us with the necessary equipment that we need, which will enable us to do this work successfully. The works of the Echo Brigade does not only expressly restore the ecological balance on the Ghanaian coastline to enhance marine and human life on the coast. It is moving the agenda of making Ghana a better Ghana forward by providing willing Ghanaians with employable life skills and employment for thousands more. Yeah.